do what we look like. Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. From Stepping on the Back Porch for another evening of chatting over cards. Yes, and there's a light, light shining yeah. on Karen. Yeah, that's right. So, and we're going to be sharing our 10 top retiring stamps. That's that Tim personally picked up. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> he went through page by page. And During my nap. <laughs> and... Yeah, I just had to wake him up. So a little late, late left. I've kept him busy today. Mm -hmm. um, and also, as you know, a, a lot of our favorite, I have a lot more favorites that aren't on the list tonight. This, this is partly based on what amazing cards I have to share. So we're just going to take our time. Last week, if you joined us, we showed a card for each retiring stamp set. I'm not showing those cards. These are all different ones tonight. So we're going to just take our time with just a few of the stamp sets. So that will be fun. Oh, it's good to have you guys on here. Just absolutely appreciate it. Love, love, love it. Okay. Shirley's right. just, uh, oh, I'm just looking. She just said she became a what? A full-time mother and they named their son Jackson. I said, that's so cool. I'm so glad to have you on with us and congratulations. I, I missed the rest of that comment. So wherever, wherever it is on here, <laughs> they go by and I try. I do go back afterwards and look for all of them. So that is really good. Oh, yes. Yes. And now she's a full-time mom. Oh, I think how fun. Shirley, congratulations. And everyone else, this is great. We had a very fun weekend in the uh, 20 Ways to Use Your Ribbon class. And I was going to I'm gonna put a post on the Facebook Live. <laughs> we had some tech issues and we were upside down at one point and somebody did a screenshot of that. <laughs> and put it on. It was pretty hilarious. So that was pretty fun. So we have fun and we appreciate that you guys um, Hello, <laughs> deal nice. with us patiently <laughs> as we keep learning. So, all right. And thank you for sharing, Carol. We just absolutely love that. That is just wonderful. Elizabeth, thank you. That's so sweet. She's thanking us for all we do and it's so helpful. It's wonderful. Well, we'll get started. Do you know we're down to the end of this month? And I don't know if anything I'm showing is gone so i just i'm not paying any attention you know these are all retiring things so i will put a link up afterwards again to where you can see the list but it's only a few days left and then we have april april so until the last last few days you this is the host the code you can read it oh, on the screen psd <laughs> hrfap i'm going to read that from cheryl bassett proof she does heaps really fantastic artistic projects. <laughs> so I love that. So the last time we're sharing this code and April 1st is a special day because on our live April that day, Fools. it's April Fool's Day, but this is no fools. We are unveiling the stamp set that we inspired. Now you guys know we didn't design a stamp set. We just give ideas, but we're going to be sharing a bunch of ideas and we get to show you that stamp set on April 1st. So we're looking forward to that. And Yes. Is that the day we go late? But we'll be an hour later. Because Karen is getting inoculated. Yeah. It was my time to get a, uh, the, vac the vaccine. So we're thrilled. So just to make sure I get home in time, we're going to be making an hour later. But I will put a notice about and that. And if I'm doing it by myself, it means that it affected her too much. <laughs> That's right. So anyway, it is wonderful. And so we're looking forward to that on uh why is, Karen Thursday? So Why is Karen so loopy? Oh, she just had her shot. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, we will get right to it. Yes. Okay, we will. We're gonna go for for this. Okay, this this might just be. Oh, this is absolutely one of my favorite papers. Page this nine? is page nine. That's your that's your responsibility yes. tonight. The boho indigo. We have the whole suite with the beautiful stamp set. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And we have the refill pack. So if you don't even need the stamp set, the, the refill packs were really cheap, like 40% off. And notice these cards. I, I, blue and white is just so beautiful for cards. So now we'll show some cards. They're, they're inexpensive. They're not cheap. Okay. Yes, they're, they're a deal. Uh, this is Leanne Graff. So notice the paper and the stamps. Isn't that Wait, stunning? Look at that because it's kind of washed out. Yeah, yeah, I'd say lights. turn those lights off. It's just so hard to figure out the lighting in time because it looks like these are flow. The flowers are floating in air. Now that would be a trick, but they're not. They are grounded with. Okay, so Tim will deal with the light. You know, the the uh, realities of going live. He'll turn our lighting system off. Oh, much better. Okay, but it, it's still. 
I think it is just, but do you see how the stamp is stamped right on the paper? Oh, and these dies are going, and I love these dies. Look how nicely they layer the nesting dies. It's much better. That I love these vases mm -hmm. and the flowers. I just think that's so cute. And the flowers so these popped are leaving. up. These are all leaving Bummer. the paper and and that. Okay. Here's another one. This whoop. This one is from Amy Rich. And look, this is so fun on this die. And here we have the tall, thin vase cut out with this paper and die, die cut and little flowers. Sorry, you're feeling blue. This is really, you know, a card we could use a lot during this year. I just think that's really fun, but uh, I think that's really a fun card. And here we have another one. Sorry, you're feeling blue. And this is Missy Shipman. And notice she's got this card cut off and this part over the edge. But aren't those blue papers fun too? And then we've got the vases. I just think that is just really beautiful. Oh, here's another favorite. Oh, these are all just favorite cards. This is Linda Olson. And here again, she has stamped the flowers or the leaves on the background paper, run it through an embossing folder, and then the vases are stamped and, and uh, popped up uh -huh. and added. I think that's really cool. And this is one of the ribbon things. And this is one of the 20 ways to tie a ribbon. <laughs> Or to add it to the thing, but isn't that? I just love how that adds yep. right across there. That is a beautifully done card. If she learned it from you, she did a good job. And then, yeah, right. No, no. And then Leanne Graff again, another one showing off these papers. These two both, and this last one is Evie Di Piazza. Okay, I'm going to put these right here so they're side by side. Look how gorgeous Keep the papers them. are. Keep them this way. Okay, is that is this working? This is like a quilt card. You see how they're all going different ways, and it just shows off the paper. Bunch, a bunch of birthday love to you. Oh, and there's a tag. Another way to do, use the ribbon. You guys that took the class, and you can always purchase the classes later, but you're gonna start noticing. And I'm gonna quit saying that, but you're gonna start. What's one of the things we talked about? You're gonna start noticing all the different ways that ribbon is being used on cards. But here we have got the three strips. And they both say a bunch of birthday love to you. And these are both beautiful cards. Yeah. I just love them. Is it about 20 different ways? Yeah, yes. <laughs> and as I jokingly said, well, no, I really said that I thought it was 20 ways to use your lover. I didn't know there were 50. So I'm really, really glad Art. I didn't say 50 ways to use your ribbon. <laughs> it was a lot of picture. Not that we couldn't come up with them, but it was a whole lot of picture taking <laughs> and editing for the PDF. So it was just pretty funny. Okay. Here's another one. I really love this. This is to a wild rose. And Page this is 15. a beautiful. Uh, yes, Mary, you can. So just send me a message. Um, uh, and I think this, you know, and this has dies with a two. This is just a beautiful, this is a triple. You know, I believe Stampin' Up! is a company that first came out. I just remember how wild we were when it came up with the two-step stamping. That was just, that just kind of changed the stamping world. It was just such a fun, innovative thing. Look at this is three step stamping. Isn't that fun? We've got three on the leaves, three on this and great words in this. So here we're going to show some here. This first card is from Ebby Di Piazza. In the die cuts in the set, there is also, let's see, does it help if I hold it up? Look at this fun shape that's in here too. And I use this shape a lot on other cards. So it's just really beautiful. This tin tile is leaving, but I love this. I love the saying, true friendship is one of God's greatest gifts. That is so true. Uh, I just think that is a really great thing. And isn't that pretty, Tim? I just it love is. how that is la laid out. I think that is just really a gorgeous card. And she is using all three. You can see the two different, the two step inside and then the outside black. Nancy said she just used this one today. I'm not sure if it's this one, Dan, but that's great. Yeah, okay. It's better holding it up. Okay, and then I can kind of try to look and to see. away from the sun. Okay. This one is by Tino Westerman. I was trying to read that right. And this is the kind of stamping. This way. Okay. Do you want to watch this or do you want to hold the cards? Or I don't know. How, are we doing okay? But look how yeah. cool this is. This is where you can stamp on one sheet of paper. Cut out the inside or lay this on top of that, either way. And then you put something in, in between there and it raises up part, but it all connects. Like it. We, we have to do that technique. I think it's been a while since we've done that, but isn't that fun? Dead in the purples. So this is like 
is this used all three times, three yep. different stamps? That's used three too. It really just gives, gives that. And so is this one. Uh, what's really fun about this one, these are all like in the pinks. We have the darkest and then lighter and then lighter yet. That's really stunning. This is Jennifer Cotton. And again, she's using that background one to put the, the dye, to put the stamp on. I love these two colors. This would be the retiring Rococo Rose. And this looks, this would be either Petal Pink or Blushing Bride, whichever one goes with that. I get those two confused unless I see them side by side. And again, I love how she's got the true friendship is one of God's greatest gifts done in Rococo Rose. So it's still in that same color, but it stands out enough to read. Did you do that, Ruben? And another tie. Did, That's right. that, of course did, we did. Yes, we did. I'll be in trouble if we find one, Tim, that I, I didn't. 20, 21 <laughs> ways. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I will add an addendum. <laughs> This next one is by Susan Legitz. And I love how she's got her strip of designer series paper down the center. I often put things down the side. You know, it's just kind of what I'm used to. And I love this. You know, it's always just like when you notice something a little different. So it's down the center. And then she's got the two flowers. This is just such a fun, bold, big it flower. It's really fun to work with. Hello. And then... Oh, Karen said she's got a catalog to follow along with this week. Yes, because the second week we've gone. So if you have your catalog too, you might want to turn to the pages with us. I'd also love to hear if any of these are your favorites and if you own it this, or if it's on your wish list. It's just kind of fun to see what seems Stampin up popular. Stampin' Up is still paying this one too. Oh, and yes. Adele, Adele for the... the for Hello. 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 <laughs> hello. hello. So it took me a while to catch on. <laughs> this is Sharon Armstrong. And a couple of things that are cool here. Number one, look at the inside. Very nice. And I love how she's gone off the edge. You know, I've said that many times that often a new stamper, you just feel like everything has to go in the middle. Look how beautiful that is. You don't have to see the whole flowers. They just go off the edge. And then have a matching one inside. Just anyway, that is a beautiful, beautiful stamp set. Very nice. Okay, and then next, um, Kathy said she has this one and now she have to pull it out again. Well, see, sometimes I think that's true too. Like I won't play with the stamp set and suddenly it shows up in the retired list and I think, oh, it's been a year since I played with that. And suddenly you pull it out and want to make things again. Okay, I've got both of these. Page 26 and 27. So we have Beautiful World and High Tide. So we're going to look at both of these separately. Both of these are also great for masculine cards, and people always say they have trouble with ideas for that. So first, we're going to look at Beautiful World. And in Beautiful World, the dies could actually stand alone, too. So I know some of the dies, I don't know which ones are really, really cheap. But, you know, and I always buy the stamp set when I get the dies. But if you just want the dies, they're awesome, too. Look how cool this oh is. Goodness. This look is a that. gatefold. And it says, life's a beautiful journey. Thank you for being part of mine. Those are great words, too. Yeah, we really do have a bright sun tonight, so I guess. Yeah. But we aren't going to complain about a bright sun. We have our dra we have our shades pulled. This is Debbie Johnson. And I love a couple things I want to point out. I love the, um, oh, this is a ribbon, too. That's so cool. It's just laid across there. But if you, I don't know if you can really see, but this is one of the dyes in there. It just leaves an imprint, but it just makes a very cool mm -hmm. accent. And, you know, there are both hemispheres so the globe is so fun to work with so there's that and now this is the stamp this is just the die and this is just the die so you know you could use just the dies to create these this is a fun card because it just lifts in the middle and this is julie julie freaky but isn't that cool very cool that's fun and we can stand like, it up like that tell so me it's about just kind this. of a fun is this just paper and that's just paper down the side that's so really... it's really a lovely look to this card I think that's fun. Okay. Yolanda says that Two Wild Rose is one of her all-time favorites. She loves stamping off the color for the first stamping. Yes, you can keep doing that because you can keep getting lighter. You can use your same color ink and get shades. Thank you for saying that. Yes, that's wonderful. Catherine, you get a catalog. Just um, go to KarenTitus.com. That's my website. And right across the top, it says free catalogs. Just click on that, put your name in, and we'll pop one in the mail to you. Um, so anyway, that's perfect. Uh, and actually that also stands right now, if you need this year's actually 
message me on Facebook if you can, if, if you want this current one, because most people now are requesting the new ones that will, I'll be mailing out at some point in April. But if you need the current ones, I want to send you those right now. I don't want to wait for do that. Do you have any extras? You can message me too, because we do have some extras. Yes. yes. <laughs> Tim is laughing because yes, uh, we have plenty of extras. So I'd love to send them to you. So you could just message me and Tim will put it in the mail tomorrow. He's good about doing that. Sandy Carlson. Here's another one. And here's another word in here. You make the world a better place. See, I love the words again in the set. I love life's a beautiful journey. And then the glad you're part of mine. You make the world a better place. And this is a mirror. Isn't that cool? See yes. That? And that's. Yes, look at that. You, you and that. <laughs> There's me. <laughs> okay. There's you. Yeah, it's all about you, Tim. We'll do that. No, I, but I'm isn't that cool? And the paper, the paper is just continuing too. But I thought that's really a gorgeous card. So I love that. And it's just black and gold. Uh, and. These also make me think of graduation cards, all that kind of stuff. This one is Meg Lovin. This is disappearing oh. too, this embossing. It's like old world paper, I think it's yeah. called. What is so that ad? Distinct. It's, it's very distinct. It's very deep. It really pops. And it looks antique. It is like, um, yeah. So, and you'll notice she stamped before she put it through the embossing folder. That's a really cool look. We've got the goal. Adventure Awaits is also in here. What a great card to make for anyone going on a trip, taking a new job, moving. You know, I just, there's just so many things. I just love that adventure waits. So are you saying that the other side of the globe is? Somewhere? Yes, let's see it. Well, oh, that one. Okay, is this? No, that's the same one. We're looking for one that has, yes, we have both. We haven't seen one yet. We haven't seen one, so I don't have one of the other. Isn't that weird? But they are both sides, yes, but there are both. And this is really cool with the three colors. Going through mm, that folder, like isn't that a cool look? I need to do that more. And this is another die in there. And do you see how this is with ribbon woven through those? Anytime you've got little slots like that. And I love how this is too. She's got the adventure weights and then she put the globe behind it. This card is Denise Kessler. And was that part of your class? No, because we didn't get about, Oh, okay. So Tim's going to count. He's going to add more and be an addition to. Uh, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I, I, these are just stunning cards, and they just are so. Um, Linda said she's got both of these, so I'm gonna high tie the other. Okay, <laughs> this is, is very cool. Is and Lynn said she's thinking about using this set for son-in-law's birthdays this year. Yeah, I. This is just a great masculine set, and graduation and all of that. This is Judy Garza, and again, notice. Now, now you're gonna want the stamp set because the words are so beautiful. But notice this globe that you get. Dies for a short stand and a tall stand. All of these are just done with the dies. So this whole thing. Hmm. So it really does stand alone, isn't that? I just think that's awesome. So that's done in the brass foil. And then this is done in early espresso. And you've got the blue underneath. And it's, she should it's double, beautiful. Double bill this class as being the, the what do they call it? Retiring? Mm -hmm. Retiring stamp sets. And, well, retiring stamp sets and ribbons. Ten more ways to use your ribbons. Yes. <laughs> but this or, paper, you know. too, is just stunning. And then the last card from the set, and this is from Don Michaels. And it's the uh, starburst part where you just kind of make your, and, and that's paper in there. Isn't that just beautiful? And here's another word. The good things in life are better with you. Oh, that's These are just great. Sayings, that so and that's cute. another just stunning card and another ribbon, Tim. Look at that. No, we're just gonna crack up on that. <laughs> My, I think that is so that is just so cool. Okay, high tide. High tide. Okay, mm -hmm. I have to say something I love about high tide again, but well, we, we just showed it in here already. It's okay, we'll show it again. Well, that's the other page. We lost it. Oh, we lost it. Okay, but okay. it's the lighthouse. And again, this set, in addition to loving lighthouses, I love the words in this. So here's a word. In high tide or low tide, I'll be by your side. Page 27. Okay. And this card is by Renee Deshane. And I love how she has stamped the lighthouse twice. She's cut one out and she's popped it up. You can see the other one under it. And I think that's really cool. And look at the water in the stamp set. The birds the sand. I mean, everything about this is just so fun to so work explain with. explain this. The gray or whatever color that is, is one stamp set. So the up and down. And so it's stamped twice. And so is this one, but in the same color. But do you see how that's a lighter? So this part's gray <coughs> and then you the red is stamped over it. So it kind of gives that two-tone, but it gives like shading. 
Isn't that cool? And this one is just done with the same set in blue, but it kind of gives you that depth. And here are more words. Let hope be your lighthouse beckoning you through stormy seas. And this, this is Sandy Carlson. And I love on this one, I love how she's just added a little strip of color mm -hmm. on the top and bottom, kind of sets it off. And again, she has the ribbon. ribbon. And love this one. And this is Karen Duke. And I just, I just think, is the, are these sandpipers? Is that what they are? But look, we have the water again, the sand. Look at that just cool look. I've got this. I, I just think that's really, really fun. And I love this one. This one I have used so many times and I have lost no the thing as a no name. We don't have this stamp anymore, but you could create something like this really easily with the circle and then just some lines coming out. I love this with the sun and the birds. And these are my favorite words in the set. It says, you have the most amazing ability to take an ordinary moment and make it shine. Thank you. I think that is just one of the nicest thank you comments you could make to somebody. I just um, just really appreciate that. So wonderful. Oh, thanks, you guys, for all the nice comments. Oh, and Renee is on here. Yeah, Renee, I just showed right. your card. So I said that was wonderful. Page 30. Okay, now we're on. Okay, rooted in nature. Okay, another, you know, I do love nature sets. And this is one I have several. So these are just some beautiful cards. Okay, I love, love, love this first one, this whole idea. This is Sandy Carlson. I love how she's done the leaves in three colors. So, you know, it's just a very, very simple card. She's got the leaves, but then she took the words, you are wonderful. Fussy cut them. These are fussy cut and pop them up over Ooh. the leaves. Isn't that just beautiful? I, I just nice. love that idea. And she just added a little trim around it. But I thought, what um What's that string gorgeous card? card. This um we had before it's just really, really a fine, you know, kind of wrapped under nice. there. But I think that is really a stunning card. Yeah, a bunch of you are sad about this. <laughs> Oh, and, and this, you know, some of these, this is Dina Lenneman. Some of these cards are really simple. And then I have a couple of unusual techniques with this. I just love this. I love that we have the tree trunk. Love this. I love these two words, the styling. You are wonderful and thinking of you. And a lot of times you want a bigger word. And I love how this is used. It's not on a die cut or anything. It's just right across the, the um, trunk there. And then the trees added. So I love that. Did I say, yep, I said who that was. Here is another, <laughs> some of you are saying, yes, you you own everything I've shown so far. Okay. <laughs> Kim Peck, another beautiful one. Oh, do you know this Woodlands embossing folder is leaving? Oh, we use this all the time, but isn't that a great background? And I love. Adjust it. See, oh, I adjust know. it. Okay. Then, it's okay. Weird. It's weird. It's, uh, yeah. Our lighting it's, tonight it's is just, but it is a bright sun coming through and we have blinds, but we don't have drapes. So we can't close it any tighter, but I love how she's got just one tree here popped up. Mm -hmm. I think that's really cool. And with that as a background, Oh, and we'll show this one side by side here. Cause this one is candy rat tray. Um, and they're highlighting the same stamp set. Look how this is like a forest and we have two shades cause it's stamped once and then stamped again without re-inking. And then she has one popped up and they're both gorgeous cards and mm -hmm. both very, Different, but using the same stamp. A wood, the wood plank embossing folder is going too. That's on the back here. Okay. Oh, and we're continuing this. Oh, this. Um, here, that shows the trees. Okay. And here, this stamp, and this has lost its name, but I love this. Uh, we're going to be doing a class on vellum okay. coming up. But look how cool this is on vellum. And the leaves are under here, and the vellum softens it. And then it's torn, and so the words also really stand out. But isn't that beautiful? And it's the same tree. Oh, I love it. I think this is my favorite, favorite tree, tree stamp. And here's another one with vellum. So mm. notice both of these and how this softens the background too. So watch for that coming up. This is Sandy McManus. And they're both just beautiful cards, and they're both using vellum, but in different ways. But they're both using it to soften the stamped images underneath. And they do. <laughs> Someone is saying it. I don't know how to say your name, so sorry. I'm not even going to try. Says so she moves her phone every time I tip the cards. <laughs> She's just trying to even them out. 
<laughs> that is too pretty funny. Yes, Christine, there it is usual. There are always a lot of things retiring so that there's room for the new things coming in. You know, it's just the nature because, of course, there's going to be a lot of beautiful ones coming in, too. But we just always have our favorites. OK, and another here's a technique card, the same tree. Hmm. And I think look at this is a Georgia Jaguar. And this is a fun background. We will need we need to do some technique Thursdays. Um, for some of these ideas, you know, that I'm seeing, but isn't that fun? That's thrown in and you know, that's like uh, a gorgeous night sky. Another thing I really like about the stamp set, the words, I love these, they're long and narrow and words are never enough. It's really a very fitting for a lot of different cards, but I think that is another just gorgeous card. How long is the sale? The sale runs through, but it's not even, some things are sale priced. Some are just, it's mostly just that it's last chance to buy. And they run through, you can order through April, but it's only while supplies last. So that's why you want to get in there and get your thing, and get things ordered. And that's why I, I'm, my disclaimer is I'm not paying attention. So I, you know, I, I, I'm not, so I can't guarantee that any of this is still available. I'm assuming it is. And I'm sorry if it isn't, but yeah, you'll want to go look. I can send you a discontinued list and you can look in my store at all the things that are discontinuing, because that helps too. This is cracked glass. Mm. You actually did a cracked glass. You mm -hmm. don't probably don't remember that, Tim. Do you remember you did one once? So that's a technique we haven't done in a while either. But can you see it there? It's very antique. It's been embossed over many times, so it's thick. And then you freeze it, and then take it out of the freezer, and you crack it. So it mm. looks very, I, I just don't think the camera's doing it justice tonight. But it's a beautiful card and a beautiful mm. technique. Can you kind of see how shiny it is? Well, Tanya said, how great. She says she's been watching us for a while, but the first time live so from Melbourne. I, so uh, we're so glad to have you with live. We are. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Shara says all the tree ones are great. You know, you go back to the lovely as a tree and it's so fun. And then there's, there's this. Now, this, here's another technique card. I love this. Look at when you open it, the whole tree is in here. Yep. Isn't that awesome? This is Gail Connolly. And um, just another great technique. And, you know, I just think that that is just really, really awesome. So this is the, the other tree. And then we're going to end with one more just very simple, lovely card. Love this one. This is Karen Boticas. If you're liking all these, you know, you might want to see last week's video if you haven't yet. Because we show a, 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 love, a gorgeous card from every single catalog. And I'm not repeating them. I mean, from every single retiring set. But I just love how simple and pretty this is. And this is the other long, narrow words to thank you for all you do. So I love the words in this. I love the two different sizes and styles. It's really an awesome set. Okay, next. Honey says we make her smile all the time. That's great. You guys, we know how lucky we are to be doing this together. We do. And how grateful we are to have you in our community that you make this possible. Page 34, so, 35. We're going to do page 34. We're going to do Good Morning Magnolia. This is the set I hadn't played. It's been in the catalog for a couple of years, so I hadn't played with it um, for quite a while. But what I love about it, I love the great big dramatic flower with it, the magnolia. The magnolias are dramatic. Yes. So we have some cool. Okay. This first card is another one where it's stamped and then raised. Part of it's raised. And this is Karen Duke. Is that? I think that's really and a fun card. It's got the little leaf off. falling. This, oh, here's another vellum. So, okay, I'm advertising for the All Good Cards Club. You know, <laughs> this card was by Linda MacArthur. And sometimes she's on here too. She's also in my, a demonstrator in my group. So is uh, Renee DeShane was on here. Love how she also did the inside. But now if you, I'm going to see if you can see this in here. This is also vellum hmm. over this. And so it's watercolor and then has embossed watercolor and then it has vellum and yeah. i think it is just really a beautiful card and again i don't know if you'll this does but isn't that great big flower just very dramatic it is and is this stamped on vellum it and, is and then is it is linda if you're on here see, i don't want to take it apart because it's such a gorgeous card it is i'm gonna look oh see um this is this is how we figure things out isn't it linda if, linda if you're on here you could just tell us but um 
is underneath. No, it's stamped underneath. That's what yeah. I thought, but I didn't want to guarantee it. So it is embossed underneath. So it's very it's much brighter without the vellum. The vellum just gives it that soft, mm -hmm. um, gorgeous look. So that is beautiful. And then look at this card, just showing how pretty this is Dawn Griffith. And I just love this huge flower. So she just has some sprinkled in the background and then she's got the great big flower up there. It makes me sneeze because that looks like pollen. <laughs> so anyway, very dramatic. And then one last one, and this has lost its name. Coloring on crumb cake. I just, you know, I need to remember that more often. I say that every time I see a card, but I don't remember to do it. But isn't that cool how it's colored on instead of on white or vanilla, which is what I usually do. But this is really a cool look. And just that little bit of elegance with the foil paper. So another gorgeous set. Oh, thank you for sharing. Linda and everyone else that has shared. The next one, I'm counting this as one stamp set. And I didn't divide these up. Page the 56, three, page, page 57. No, page 56. Okay. The, I'll show you why, because they're the scenery ones. I have to show you what it goes with. And I Ooh. didn't divide up my cards by set. Because if you have one of these, you want all three. So we have my meadow, which has these trees, the bridge. I just, you know, we can have winter trees or foliage, the lakes, the wheelbarrow. We have this one with trees, mountain, a lake. And on page 129, so that's on page 58, and then on page 129. Karen did her homework. Yeah, I did this time. We have the waterfront. So we have the little Ooh. outhouse or the little cottage <laughs> or the changing house or whatever. I, you know, and I, the words on this are just great too. Friends make the good times better. Every little kindness makes the world brighter. Uh, friends make the good times better and the hard times easier. I think that, what a great thank you message. You know, if you do go through, our time. I mean, I just think, you know, going through the loss of a loved one or any other really hard thing in life, what great thank you cards later. This would be, you know, because we all go through those hard times and oh my goodness, having friends go through it with you is such a thing to be grateful for. So anyway, that's just what I was thinking about. And that would have to do with anything, any hard times in life. So I just group these together because it's fun to have all of them to just, to just play. Okay, so we're going to start with the palm trees and you know this the sun is in here and that's just sponging around this is a card we did in one of the classes that i know and okay here is the friends make the good times better this one has lost its name but this might i think this is another one we did in class actually but look how you can just build your scenes yep. isn't that just fun is that a is that an image? That you stamp? Yes, there's a stamp. So it gives that, it's got that depth right in there. I'm going to put some more side by side with this because these are just so fun. This was from Cindy Rupert to you, Tim. It was a birthday card mm. to you. But do you see how fun these are to just be building? And so you can do things that are similar but different. Very Let's masculine. see if we can do another row here. This is real. Okay, well, let me, I'll do the yeah. technique. I'm going to show this one. This is Julianne Knudsen. A study in grays. Mm. And, you know, that's just very artistic. I, you know, so I just, that that's just really beautiful. It's a whole different take on building things like this. This was another one that I had, that I had done. Again, a, a more artsy. Okay. So you're just stamping and then with water, you're painting over it. And it kind of gives this wash look and it just makes a really fun, unique card. So you can just do all this. Again, the kind of technique that I really like. Yeah, you love techniques. We got to get you doing mm -hmm. more techniques because techniques are Tim's favorite. Love this one. This is Amy Rich, just in the the dark. I love the dark, rich navy that she's using here, and then the gray mountains and the sun peeking up. That's why love never gives up. Karen calls me Timmy Technique Titus. <laughs> yes. And then Mary Cacciarella. Here's the last one. And here we have the those little houses by the palm trees. That's where, I'd, you know, I would like to be for a couple. Oh, yeah. So see, so that's a whole different flavor to these. So I think these are just really fun. Okay, Mary just looked it up. The last chance sale runs until May 3rd. So thank you. Okay. You don't want to wait till then, then, because it's going to be just whatever's left. <laughs> so 
uh, since it is while supplies last. So we will just keep that in mind. The next one, I don't have tons of samples, but I mentioned last week, this is one of my personal favorites from the catalog. I love the birch trees. I mean, I just oh, I think that is stunning. And I love this group of trees. So I just have a couple of cards. Page 61. Love how simple this is. This is, again, it is the leaves, the, I mean, the trees, and then cut apart and made into three panels. Isn't that beautiful? It is. And again, very masculine. This would be a great sympathy card, birthday card, anything. This is Judy Workazetsky. And that's the background. It's got a little black. Yes. So they're each, each panel is layered. I love that. And this is, again, the retiring stitched nested dies. And the perfect bow. And then we have Karen Braxton. And look, we've got the same trees again, but this is just like alive. This is with a color burst kind of thing that we used to have, but you could do similar things with a watercolor look. But again, that looks almost like a, you could do this as a real stormy day, or it could be a bright sunny day. But again, I think that is just a beautiful card. Deb Anderson says she just bought these dyes at Winterwoods. I just love it. If a retiring stamp set shows up as back ordered, no, you're not out of look. They will still make, you know, and here's the difference. Stampin' Up! makes their own stamp sets. And I could be wrong, but it seems like they said they would honor the stamp sets um, through like April 23rd. After that, they're not going to make more. So it's while supplies last. It's the dyes you need to be concerned about because they do not make their dyes. So when they run out of dyes, you know, the chances of them getting more, I think, are very slim. Judy Workozeski. Workozeski. And then I love, this is a card that I had done. And I... Just love this is watercolored, but with the birch trees, and this just looks like a fun wintry card. And so, this is really fun. It says, I couldn't have picked a better friend than you, and then you open it, and there's more. Thanks a bunch below it. <laughs> but this was such a fun card to do, and I just love the look of those birch trees. And it's a bunch of aspen, and it is, oh, it birch. is a bunch, yes. So, yeah, a lot of talented people out there. You're right, but if you're back ordered, then you're out of luck. If it's not orderable, then it's out. And then, of course, my last two are going to be flower stamp sets. And, you know, there are a lot of amazing flower stamp sets. So I just picked that I like. I, I picked a couple that I really like that I also have great samples. This is Healing Hugs. Page 72. Page 72, yes. And, you know, number one, it's fun to have something for Get Well cards. And I also have some stunning, stunning cards. This is the photo realism kind of a stamp. And this is Rhoda McPherson. Isn't this beautiful? Here we have vellum again. Now, if you can see the difference, it's soft paper anyway. It was This was paper from a couple of years ago, I think. But look how it's even softer when you put the vellum over it. And notice this isn't attached. It's only attached here. You don't need to always attach your vellum. I like that kind of free, free floating thing. But notice the flower, how you just have all those different shades built right into it. And these little hugs and kisses. I just love this card. Yeah, this is a fun one. Several of you are saying that you just ordered this or you use it a lot. I, yeah, I, and I, I do love this flower. Here's another one. And I love it. Look at the different colors. I think it's just so fun. This is Diana Gibbs. And notice on the background, she has an embossing folder that has uh, just flowers. So it's part of it. And then this is popped up. I, I just think that is just a stunning card again. And I love the blues, the two blues. And then we just have a little green accent. And I will do it in red. I get well soon. And this one is, this one has lost its name. You know, if they're not attached with something, it's, it's just, it's hard to keep names with things. So it's a lot easier if people use a post-it note. So I'm always sorry. So, you know, if you're on here and this is your card, let us know. Because I do like to give credit. Where um, credit is due. Where credit is due, yes. But again, I just love the different colors and the layout of that. And then one more also in a red and also a, a lost name. And and this is kind of like that center panel again. It doesn't pop up, it could, but I think it's just really cool with the wood grain on the side and then this down the middle. Yeah, there is lots of vellum tonight. So yes, and vellum and embossing, yeah. So actually maybe this next month for April, 
we are doing a Fenfolds class again, and maybe we'll do vellum for mace. We kind of alternate. We do something different. If you join the All Good Cards Club, it's only $15 a month, and we spend a weekend together. We have three lives. And then you see not only my ideas. I teach some things. I do a PDF, and then people make all kinds of ideas, and they share them. So you get so much out of it. Okay, Bert, the last one, Tim, I need Bert, to. Julie. Tim is working over here on, on creating. Can we show? Uh, yes, you can show your lovely work of art. I'm distracted now, by Okay. And I just messed it up. Okay, <laughs> so, so those are all little DSP you could be creating. Yes. A, okay, our last one is Bloom and Grow. And I do, if you like coloring, this is such, I mean, this just looks so good, vibrant. I've shown a lot of cards with this and I want to point out, you know, I don't know if I like his background though. Sorry, dear. You're gonna have to start all over. Love this colored in. Look how pretty it's that wonderful. is. It is just a stunning card. And this is Alicia Graham. And then notice this amazing card by Patty Berg. And that's gorgeous too. And I just love, they both have the same words. Here the words are the main thing and the flowers are the accent in the background in a soft color. So that's Rococo Rose in the background. And then this is early espresso. And here we've got the grape going on. Isn't, I just think it's gorgeous. And ribbon, mm -hmm. ribbon. Yeah, and they're both using, and both these ribbons are on the retired, and these are all retiring colors. This is rose, Rococo rose. This is, this is the color I'm going to miss most. This is purple posy. Look how stunning it is with both Highland Heather and gorgeous grape. So I love having that extra third really pale color. But I just love both of these cards, and they couldn't be more different, and it's the same stamp set. I thought both of them had two blings instead of three and then i found the third one up here up here there's just two but there's another one down there so it's like a game tim it's a game you go hit yes. you know he's, he's always looking to see if people use odd numbers or not <laughs> he's trying to look for all. it doesn't take much to entertain me. and then this one i love too this is mary mary alice bellis and she did the inside so i always like to point that out uh and this had retired before but you could mm. create something like this look as we have the same ribbon <laughs> but creating a pocket and then look at the flowers. So she's got one set behind hmm. and then one on top. I love that. Isn't that just a fun idea? It's kind of a guy's, well, the, the ribbon doesn't help, but, but that, that, that denim. The denim, the denim yes. Yes, you could certainly. You would like a card I, like that. I would. And then this is just another quick idea how you can just angle. Angle, like um, um, this is another one that we did in class, but I love the idea where you can take like a longer set of flowers like that and angle them and just put your words in the middle. You are simply wonderful. Did you show Mary Alice's inside? Yep. Oh, oh, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. So we love doing the inside. So it's back at us. So thank you for enjoying this uh, little walk through the catalog with us. Be sure you join us Thursday to see the unveiling of our, of our, the stamp set we helped inspire, whatever it's called. And that was for achieving my million in sales, one thing Stampin' Up! has you do is put input on what kind of a stamp. Um, and so we've been having this running guess as people have been guessing what's in it. And on Thursday, I will announce two winners that are going to get the stamp set autographed by Ascent. But it can't be ordered till May, so you're not. it's going to be a long time coming. But at, at least we're, we're having fun with it. But I get to show it at least <laughs> come April. And let me know if you need the catalog, if you, need, um, if you have any questions about ordering. And because I, it's kind of the end of the month. Mm -hmm. I have a stamp set signed by Shelly and I know, Sarah. and he treasures it. So I, I do. I said, this is really funny, but everyone was asking us to have. So do you know how you can get one signed by us? Let's, this will be our last thing. How? Jim doesn't even know this, but no, I don't. <laughs> we're going to do a class. So you're not going to want to order it in May. You're going to want to sign up for the class because it's going to be a great deal. And you're going to get five card layouts with it. And then we'll send it signed. And we're going to, your birthday week. Really? Yes. We're going wow. to do a class live. What else? With our what, what, what else is going on? Because I, I know that's why you wanted to, to, our to celebrate your anniversary. Or your, your, your birthday. And our anniversary. <laughs> so it'll come later. Um, but but that will be just a fun way to do it. So that's what we're planning to do. So thanks, everyone. See you on Thursday. Let us know what you can help you with. <laughs> oh, Moose's Catherine says it should be Moose's, but that whole story came way too late. The stamp set we inspired, I would have to say, was um, close 
oh, well over a year and a half ago. Has it been two years? I don't even know how long. It's been a long time ago. <laughs> this is inspired. It takes a long, you know, catalogs are planned way, way, way in advance. And it was way, it was uh, before all this. So anyway, see you guys on Thursday. And thank you so much. We love you. Bye.